we all know how focused Toyota is on developing hybrid technology. Toyota is at the forefront in the hybrid automobile sector and wants to build a sustainable future with hydrogen power. Recent reports suggest that Toyota has built a new powerful hydrogen car that can prove to be a game changer for the Japanese automaker in the hydrogen power and hybrid car segment. Sit back and watch as we take a look at how Toyota plans to improve its technology and become a powerhouse. As auto and truck manufacturers invest heavily in hydrogen fuel cell transport, they are considering another alternative, hydrogen combustion engines that can replace diesel motors in a broad array of vehicles. It's not an entirely new idea. Swiss inventor Francois Isaac de Rivaz built a combustion engine powered by hydrogen and oxygen in 1806. More than 200 years later, Toyota is taking another look. BMW dabbled with it more than a decade ago, but abandoned the technology to push into battery electric cars and plug-in hybrids. Now let's look at how a hydrogen car works. Hydrogen serves as fuel to produce electricity, and that electricity is used to power the wheels of a hydrogen car. You must have noticed that there are similarities between electric and hydrogen cars, but let's look at a more technical description. When you put hydrogen in the car, it goes into a fuel tank like petrol does. From here, the hydrogen is fed into the fuel cell, which is where the electricity generation takes place. It uses normal chemistry to combine hydrogen and oxygen in the air and generate electricity. Inside the fuel cell is a liquid with a positively charged anode on one side and a negatively charged cathode on the other, much like a battery. It is inside the cell that hydrogen atoms split into protons and electrons. The former is converted into the exhaust product, which is pure water, and the latter provides the power of the car's electric motor. As with the battery pack, there are lots of smaller reactions happening in the fuel cell to provide power for the motors. A hydrogen car will also have a battery to store power for later. This extra power is usually useful when you accelerate and need more power from the car, but normally the fuel cell powers the electric motors directly. Now in case you're wondering, modern hydrogen fuel cell cars are relatively safe just as petrol-run cars. Hydrogen car makers have been given special consideration to safety, so you can drive them without getting literally roasted. The hydrogen you pump into the cars is pressurized, and the tanks on board are designed to contain this extreme pressure and more, so there should be no more danger than a normal car. These tanks are designed specially not to leak and are very strong to contain the hydrogen, but in the unlikely case of a leak, the hydrogen engine instantly shuts down itself. The tanks are not even in the cabin to start with, and even when the hydrogen escapes, it has very little chance of causing a fire because it quickly evaporates into the atmosphere. This is the main working a hydrogen fuel cell car. What advantages do hydrogen fuel cell cars have over electric cars? While electric cars are much more common, at least for now, there are reasons why hydrogen cars are preferable. The biggest advantage are the ranges and refueling times. Electric cars have serious driving range issues because you must be ready to spend a lot to get the ones with decent driving ranges. For instance, the Tesla Model 3 has a driving range of more than 200 miles, but it starts from $47,000, and the larger the battery, the more time you spend charging it. Even with the fastest chargers, you may spend more than 30 minutes. In contrast, hydrogen cars offer longer driving ranges like the Hyundai Nexo, which can last 414 miles before giving out. And when you have to stop for a refill, it's a matter of a few minutes and you're back on the road. This makes hydrogen cars more suitable for long trips where hydrogen stations are available. From an environmental point of view, hydrogen cars have an edge. Hydrogen is abundant in nature, so it's impossible to run out of it. There are so many sources to tap into to produce hydrogen. Also, some environmental activists are concerned about how the electricity that is stored inside the batteries of EVs is produced. Some of it comes from plants that burn carbon-based fuel. Hydrogen cars also work quietly, meaning they don't cause noise pollution and they don't have internal combustion engines too, so the maintenance is minimal. Many countries have recognized the benefits of hydro-empowered mobility, so while they are promoting electric vehicles as part of the solution to the global climate change problems, some are also funding research into hydrogen cars or investing in building the infrastructure needed to spur the growth of hydrogen cars. Of course, for you to use a hydrogen car, you must have access to stations where you can fill up with hydrogen. The level of the infrastructure is nowhere near what ICE cars enjoy today, but with more investments, we will get there. The US, China, and South Korea are leading the pack when it comes to investments in hydrogen infrastructure to support fuel cell cars. Hyundai has the Nexo. 
It is an SUV with a 95 kilowatt fuel cell stack and a 40 kilowatt hour battery pack. The electric motor is rated at 11 horsepower and 291 pound-feet of torque. It can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.4 seconds. However, the Toyota Mirai is more common. Even though both currently occupy a niche, the new Mirai is based on Lexus running gear, unlike the first edition which Toyota built on the Prius. Apart from using a hydrogen fuel cell, the new Mirai is actually one of Toyota's most attractive designs. The electric motor powering the Mirai produces 182 horsepower, all of which is sent through a one-speed direct drive transmission to the rear wheels. Toyota claims the Mirai does 0 to 60 miles per hour in 9.1 seconds, but the immediate nature of the electric motor's power delivery makes it feel perkier than that. From this video, it seems like hydrogen fuel cell cars have more potential than electric cars. But what are your thoughts on hydrogen engines and hydrogen powered cars? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.